guys heading out to Rio from Sao Paulo. If you come to Sao Paulo, there are two airports, GRU, which is the main international one, and then SGH, that's the local regional airport. GRU, the big international airport, is about 45 minutes away from Sao Paulo, the actual city itself. It's a huge city, so if you're gonna be landing there or taking off from there to go back home, take that in consideration. Right now, we are going to Rio, so the airport that we had to get to, SGH, is much closer. It's about 15 minutes, and it's the same thing in Rio. Two airports, because people ask me, oh, I'm landing, where, where is it gonna be? So remember this, Sao Paulo, one international airport, one regional airport, the same thing in Rio de Janeiro. So we were sitting at a freaking, the wrong gate. The gate changed, and this gentleman right here saved our life, man. Thank you, man. We were, we were gonna, we were gonna miss, and now we're on the bus heading to the gate. <laughs> and then they took your bag, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right here. So, I gotta check it. Yeah, in. we gotta check it. You have to check that one in. So, oh, that's the only one you have right now. Yeah. The one that I'm checking in, and I got this one. That's it. If you guys remember when we arrived. It was that? Fingers crossed. You know, I'm checking no bags. Wow. If you guys remember when we when we landed in Sao Paulo, he had two bags, two yellow ones. And they took one because of the overhead compartment. So, I, what's that? There's not enough space. They even took mine too. They almost took yours. They're so. going to take mine. Oh, they're going to yeah. take yours? Man. That's why I always check. I don't check in the bag. See, even a small bag like this. Guys, this is not even the big extended one. This is a normal, normal size. And they said it's too big for the plane. So keep that in mind. So give yourself enough time, you know, to drop off your stuff, check in, and then make announcements in Portuguese. So if you don't understand Portuguese like we don't, you have to basically watch the screen. I was sitting there comfortable, chilling, and we were at the completely wrong gate, gate one, and we're going to gate 13. And you have to sit on this bus now, and they're boarding as we speak. So I hope we don't have to, we're not gonna miss our flights. Hopefully not. Still sitting here, it looks like you ain't moving. Yeah, we're not. It's 11 51. I know. I'm like, yo, can I get a text alert or something? You know, nothing. I don't know. Ding, 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 nothing. You know what I mean? No text alert. This happened to me in this airport before. I wasn't paying attention. I'm on my phone, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And they changed the gate, and then I end up missing the flight too, as well. Damn. So I have a little bit of nightmares about coming to this particular airport itself because, you know what I mean? I've already missed the flight, and it could happen again this, yeah. year, this time as that well. That sucks, so, man. Yeah. yeah. So that's the trouble nightmare, missing your flight. Hey, I mean, you have to book a flight right now to go to Rio. You can easily spend $400, $500 easily, especially during carnival season. Brazil itself, if you plan everything in advance, you're gonna be okay. The flights within the country should not cost you more than $100 to $120, right? But if you go and wait until the last minute, you will be surprised how expensive it can run. It is not very different than flying within the US if you book it at the last minute. <laughs> so, so keep that in mind. So we are on the bus to the gate and we were here an hour prior. We had all that time just sitting at the wrong gate. And luckily he checked, he checked the screen, man. We were, we were gonna be screwed for real. So now we're going to the gate. Good luck to us. The helicopter landing over there. <laughs> I think we're taking a chopper, guys. Yes? <laughs> we just saw one land. All right, so we are boarding LATAM. LATAM is a great airline. I fly them often when I travel within South America. <laughs> What's that? Oh. Okay, all right. You sure? You don't want to go? Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Okay. What's that? No, no, no. He said to wait. Yeah. How are they going to do groups out here? How are they, they going to do boarding groups from here? Because it looks like the plane is already like right there. Wow. So they have all these groups, group one, two, three, like they normally do. Alright. Wow, that's a slow door. Man, that's the slowest door I've ever seen. Jesus. Alright, so let's go ahead and board. 
So it's group one, two, and three, but look, everybody has to just go. And go ahead and board. You know? This is pretty um, non-organized. <laughs> we went with priority and we group three and we still managed to do this like that. Let's do it, baby. The crisis has been averted. We were able to board, and guess what? There's nobody sitting here between me and this beautiful lady over here. You know? <laughs> Hi. Hey, so, a video? yeah, it's a video. Yeah. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I don't know how to say. No, no, you're doing good. So most people don't speak English. So she actually is Brazilian from um, originally from Okinawa. If you guys are familiar with Okinawa, Japan is an island over there. And um, she speaks English. So we're just talking about the pain of traveling to, you know, Brazil during carnival. How much was your, your ticket to the parade? How much did you pay? To Rio? Yeah, the one you're going to? Caros passageiros, uma batalha que o comandante, na verdade, tem que você agradecer por arco. 300? Nosso tempo em volta, o janeiro estava previsto para 800 dólares. O tempo em volta é bom. O tempo em volta é bom. O tempo em volta é bom com a temperatura na casa dos 33 graus Celsius. Dona Chubu, eu tenho melhores informações sobre o tempo e o nosso estima de pontos atualizados. Yes. Man, yeah, that's 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 General standard. Yes. Yes. Wow. There is a lot of places signed off. Yes. Wow. And do you do you do this every year, or is it just like this time that you go? Usually go once, two, three years. Yes. Because it's a very expensive thing, and then it's not something that you can go every year and spend your money. Yeah. You can't. It's it doesn't make sense. It's no, it does not. Yeah. It does it's not. It's only for a special, special day, special year. Yeah. Because I really love carnival. In my case, I really love. I prefer carnival than many other studies in the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow, eight hundred dollars, man. That will hurt. That's why, you know, I do grandstand and stuff. She's rich, man. Eight hundred dollars. <laughs> Point is my favorite party in the world. That's why I have to pay. It makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So you have costumes and everything. Yeah, for example, I prefer carnival than Ibiza, than Miami, Paris yeah. in Miami. Yeah. That's why I, I, I agree to pay this. Yeah, it makes sense. But, but I know that is not um, normal. <laughs> yeah. No, no, but it's once a year, and uh, if you prepare yourself... Also then... three, four years. Yes. Yes. Okay, have you been to Miami? Yes. What do you think of Miami? I love Miami. Yeah? I love... Yeah. Do you feel like it's expensive to go to my, the US, or do you think it's... No, you know, for, for Brazilian, it's very, it's very expensive, expensive to go to USA. Yes. Because they, they are... Our exchange rate is, yeah. is low, no? Yeah, the way out. Yes, and yeah. then for us it's expensive. So what is the process for you to come to the US? Do you have to show that you have $2,000 in your bank account to get a US visa? Yeah, we need to take visa before to go and we can spend $1,000 uh, there only. We cannot spend more than this. Wait a second. They tell you how much money you can to, you get yes, to spend? Yes, our government controls everything you spend in another country. Why? I don't know. I've never heard this before. Yeah, if, if it's, um, how can I explain? $1,000 is only to declare. You yes. Know? You can you can buy whatever yes. you want. Yes. For expensive things like 
cell phone, notebook, and gallery, you have this limit. It's only one thousand dollars. But how do they know per how much? Per flight. Per flight. Yes, you you will have declaring the in the flight. During the flight, you have to. What if you spend more? You cannot declare. For example, you can yeah. you can have not an invoice. For example. Yes. Yes. But when you apply for the visa, do they check that you have at least two thousand U.S. dollars in the bank? When you get visa, the the USA uh, knows everything about your life. How much you earn, how much you have. If you have buildings, apartments, and money, mm -hmm. your profit, and you and you profit. Mm -hmm. The USA usually sees everything about your life. Yeah. To approve or no. Yeah. If you have no money, they Do will not, not approve. Of course, yeah, yeah. makes sense. Because they don't want you to stay. They don't want you to come over there and overstay your visa. <laughs> that makes sense, you know. That makes sense. I'm asking you this because they changed the process for Americans now. For us to go to Brazil starting April, we have to show up to the Brazilian government really? that How we much? have $2,000 in the bank. Not just having it, but that the money has been in your bank for two months at least just sitting in your account like that two thousand dollars starting april oh i didn't know that yes the former president bolsonaro he got rid of visas for americans but your new president uh, um what's it lula yeah he put it back they were supposed to start december but we were starting april but they pushed it because the website was like really crazy what do you think about this well, I mean, it's it's fair. I think if you you're, think it's fair? It's, I think it's fair. I yeah. mean, some people will say it's not fair because Americans are just going on vacation, but Brazil has money problems. So if somebody goes over there, they're more likely to stay. Yeah. That's why. Brazil is open yeah. to the world. You know? Yeah. But they're only doing this to the U.S., Canada, and Australia. That's it. I don't know that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I have no opinion about this. <laughs> I have no opinion. Now. Yeah, yeah, no, it's cool, it's cool. So, where else have you traveled to besides Miami? Any other city in the US? No, I love USA, I love uh, uh, Dubai, for example, Europe in general. Yeah. In Africa, I've never been there. I, I, My plan is to go next year to Africa, some, some country in the Africa. Which one would you want to go? Maybe Angola, maybe the, the South. Oh, Angola, because you speak Portuguese, so it'll be perfect for you. Yeah, yeah. the people speak Portuguese. Yeah. yeah. So how about your connection to Japan? Do you have any more connection or this completely no. done? To go to Japan, you have to stop in Dubai yes. or in Paris, I think so. Yes. The connection is Paris or Dubai or Singapore. Singapore, to get here from here. Yeah. But it's very expensive too, I feel like. It's so much. It's 24 hours to go to Japan by flight. 12, uh, 12 plus 12. Yes. It's too much. Yeah, that's a lot. This video is on some channel, some Instagram. YouTube. Really? Yeah. Oh my god, you are famous. No, I'm boy. not. I'm not famous. <laughs> <laughs> I am not famous at all. I'm not. I'm afraid now. <laughs> no, no, don't be, don't be. I'll show you. I'll show you the, the Why channel. Why this video you appear? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a good conversation about life in Brazil during Carnival. Okay. That's all it is. No weird websites. No, no funny business. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling bad now, but what? it's okay. <laughs> oh, I can turn it off. No, 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 okay, no, no, okay. no okay. worries. Okay. Only, oh. only to know where we will appear. Yeah, nothing bad. If you are uh, famous. No, no, no. <laughs> no. If I was famous, I'd be flying my own jet. I wouldn't be sitting here. I'd be on my own personal helicopter all the way to Rio. Mm, yeah. That's how rich nice. people do it. Very nice. So now, how about lodging in Rio? Are you staying in a hotel? Are you staying with your friends? No, I will stay in the hotel. I think it's safe. It's more safe because I will, I will uh, meet my friends there. Yeah. 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 Uh, and then we will stay in the hotel because we can, can, we can have a transfer to go to Sapucaí and come back, save it. I'm asking you this because people who watch this video will wonder how expensive are those hotels? Because some hotels that stay 
normally seventy dollars now they want four hundred US dollar for one night yeah there are four big hotels in Rio de Janeiro yeah famous hotels and very expensive yes uh, such as Fazano Emiliano and uh, Copacabana Palace mm -hmm. and Fairmont yes this four is the best one and very very for only for rich people yeah but in general there are a lot of prices yeah you can find whatever you want yes the low prices medium prices you can choose yes that are every options every option in in this uh, as i told you these big hotels usually sp you will spend four hundred dollars per day per day yes yeah but in the cheaper hotel you will spend five or ten or so I'm actually going to stay in a different place, it's away from Copacabana, you're looking at maybe 40 minutes away, and then I'm going to move into Copacabana because it is just so expensive right now, so we're going to two different locations, so I'm going to show you guys and tell you the prices and everything. My sound right now. <laughs> Let's wait. If someone comes to Brazil, right, for the first time, okay. what are the top three meals that you would say they should try? Mm, good, good question. Meals, I would say feijoada. Uh, I would say uh, I don't know the, the, the name, but mi, mineiro. Mineiro. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It, there is a uh, traditional and tropical food here in Brazil. Yes. Wow. You know? uh, and if we choose one more. In Brazil, you can find whatever you want a good pasta, good Japanese food, um, meat. Meat here is very mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. I think so. Mm -hmm. mm. Dobradinha is very nice. Dobradinha, what is that one? If you tell you, you not eat. <laughs> I have to try it now. Yeah. Yeah. I would like to try that. Caipirinha for sure. Of course, yeah. Um, Gotta do that. Let me see more. Do you have a favorite restaurant in Rio? Like if you go out for steaks, for example, people ask me all the time, where is a good steakhouse? The and steakhouse is uh, in front of the beach, in near from Flamingo Beach. What is the name? Do you remember? Uh, the name. You wouldn't say Fogo de Chão? No, it's not Fogo de Chão, it's another one. Okay. I, I will tell you. Tell me later, yeah, yeah. So, we're gonna find out for you guys, you know, the best, so you guys know what's up. So, we're about to take off. Asador, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I heard of this one, Asador, Asador. Okay, okay. I think it's the best one. To, That's the best. To eat meat, yes. Wow. It's better than Fogo de Chão, in my opinion. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah. And the view is nice. It's nice. Too. Yes. Very nice view. Yeah, wow. it is good option because you can see the beach, you can see the 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 people around, and yes. you can eat a good meat. Meat, yeah. 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 And here is Sao Paulo. Which one? In Sao Paulo, oh my God. Barbacoa. Barbacoa. Yeah. Charanga Grill. Mm -hmm. Rodeio is the best one. Yes. Three, four, eight. Yes. It's my favorite. Three, four, eight. Yeah. Okay. Because you eat a good dessert. Oh. It's very nice. Yes. Uh, my my favorite one is a uh, fair uh, fair price is three, four, eight. Three, four, eight. Oh, Rodeo is the expensive. Yes. So much, I think so. Baranda, barbacoa, any steak. Yes. It's good. Okay. Yeah. Do you think the food scene is better here in Sao Paulo or is it better in Rio? For sure in Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo, yeah, I agree. I agree. Sao Paulo is the best, the best for food. Eat, yeah. I agree. Yeah. And then for it, it meat in Sao Paulo, is these five options is the, the best one. Yes. Wow. Yeah. No, I agree. I agree. If you have time, go to 348. 348. Yeah. Okay. Meat. I'll check it out. Meat and steak. Yes, meat and steak. Okay. 
Sounds it's good. a good choice and the price is good too. Yeah. And I think it's a very nice place to visit. Okay. 348 guys. Remember this, 348 recommendation straight from a local. Let's check that out. <laughs> We're gonna continue the conversation later because we're about to take off and I don't want all the sounds. So I'll see you guys on the other side. We made it to Rio. We made it to Rio. So so, I was lucky to meet Evelyn here and she's going to be helping me out with additional information about the city. Are you going to the parade today or are you going tomorrow? Para sua segurança, tomorrow. dos demais passageiros, tenham cuidado ao retirar a sua bagagem, yeah. utilizando okay. as duas mãos. Ao so, okay. desembarcar, deixe de levar todos os seus so artigos pessoais e de yeah. não deixar resíduos na aeronave. Yeah. Nice. A partir de agora, já permitido usar equipamentos right. right. eletrônicos <laughs> normalmente. So guys, let's continue this journey. You see, it's a very quick flight from Rio to, I mean, from São Paulo to Rio. And uh, I'll be showing you different things. What's that? Esperamos ter os abordes na próxima viagem. Thank okay. you for choosing to fly. I'm going to carry you. Give me some good uh, visuals of the parade, like videos, and send them on WhatsApp. Ah, okay. Do so I can put it on this video. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, I will send to you tonight. Yes, send me some. And then I can explain it. Exactly. That would be what great. What is this? And when you film it, film it like, film it like this. Okay. And not like this. Film like this. Yeah, okay. yeah it's better for I will send you, I promise. Uh, thank you, yeah. thank you. <laughs> I was lucky to meet the right person and she is in Sao Paulo so the flight was so fast and we landed we didn't even realize it was it was so quick and when you get lucky that you have nobody in the middle it is the best <laughs> nice to meet you Evelyn nice to meet you and we'll be in touch nice oh, to meet nice you nice to meet you nice to meet you all right bye 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 bye, bye, bye. bye, bye. nice to meet you journey so almost the same distance actually the same time not distance from here to Sao Paulo on the freaking taxi we're gonna see I'll show you guys Uber how easy is it to get from this airport or we're just gonna have to get a taxi and get crushed <laughs> prices so here we are finally out of the plane Man, what an adjustment from the winter in DC to this. I was really lucky to meet uh, Evelyn. Evelyn, shout out to you when you're watching this video. Thank you for all the great conversation and information you gave me. So, to meet someone who speaks English in Brazil is always a blessing. It would be curious to see the percentage of the people that actually speak English here. And for as much as I've been coming in this country, it's time for me to learn Portuguese. The problem I have is that I want to actually learn Spanish. Because in the US, Spanish is more spoken, so it will be more useful. So, the plane was full. So my boy Backpack Mo left his bag all the way to the back of the plane. So I'm gonna have to wait for him to get his bag. And then basically, we're gonna continue the journey. So the one thing I wanted to mention as I'm waiting is that, guys, the hotels here, if we don't book them early enough, they will be so expensive, making it almost out of your budget for most people. I know some people are rich out there, but really, if you want to have a good time and do Brazil on the low during Carnival, don't wait until the last minute. Do not. So I'm going to show you this hotel, it's called the Mercure, and I filmed it every time I come to Rio de Janeiro. It is right next to the popular JW Marriott. That hotel normally runs between $70 to $80, $70 to $100 a night. And during the carnival season, 
especially the week of all the festivities, they ask for as much as 300. The Marriott next door can be 400. I have two friends who were supposed to come here and they gave up because of the prices. So I found a place a little bit away from the main hub of Copacabana. And basically that's where we're gonna be for a few days until the price drops. And then we're gonna to come to Copacabana. So this is gonna be a little bit different video because most videos right now coming out of Brazil, you will notice there's a lot of Copacabana, Copacabana. And I certainly will get Copacabana in, but I definitely wanna show you guys. Besides Copacabana, Leblanc, and Impenama, what else is there to see? If you want something a little bit more low-key, where to stay for the low? That's basically what it's gonna be about. Here they are, the troublemakers. <laughs> Welcome to Rio, man. How was your flight? It was nice. Quick, right? I thought, the, I it, thought the plane was on fire for a the, second. The way it was bumpy in the beginning, I mean, that made me nervous, man. I was like, I was talking to this lady next to me, she spoke English, you know, I was lucky. And um, we were both acting like we're cool, and then we were like, uh, what is going on? Man, that thing made us nervous. So I think the baggage claim is on that side. Mo, you got all your stuff? Yeah, I was yeah. supposed to put this in baggage claim, but I got lucky. And you got lucky and got on the there plane. Was, there was space on the plane. Yeah, there man, they still want to check, they still want to make you check in your freaking bags, you know? So we, we pack smaller bags, but when you take these local flights, man, it's tricky. So. We're actually going to baggage claim now and then we're going to figure out how to get out of here. All right. Yo, that landing was like a Spirit Airlines landing. It was a rough. So I, I said, I made a joke. I was like, when you close your eyes, you wake up, you're there. Yeah. So I closed my eyes because I was like, you know what I mean? Outlights last night. When, when we landed, that, that was what woke me up, the landing. I was yeah. like, yo, shit. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. So but whatever, we're here. We're here. So. We are here. Let's go ahead and check out the, the baggage claim. Get our bags. Hopefully they made it through the flight. <laughs> All right. I hope your neck doesn't hurt by the time you get out of here. I, I, I don't need neck surgery already, man. <laughs> you know? neck is real, yeah. baby. <laughs> In this place. Struggles navigating a Brazilian airport. We are looking for the baggage claim sign. And this is as close as we get. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna ask somebody, but we figure we're just gonna go downstairs and figure that out because there should be a sign that says, you know, baggage claim this way, but it is what it is. What's that? Nothing. Oh, you want to say nothing? Okay. I, I'm just exercising my neck. Oh, okay. Hey, yeah, don't, don't, break, don't break your neck out here, man. Don't break your neck. Okay. So now I think I've seen a sign that says baggage claim. Finally, right here. No return point. Yes, this is it. I got yelled at before in these airports for using my camera. Let me turn it off. Now, the question is, what section is a plane? 3914, that's a plane, right? Yeah. So this is us right here. So that was fairly easy. And the good thing also is that we have an ATM machine right there. So to catch the money, because sometimes, you know, you don't want to be in a situation where cash is still king here. I mean, you can use your card for like most things, but cash remains king. Especially if you go out drinking and you want to tip somebody, a very nice bartender, whatever. Or if you go out of here and we need to get a taxi and I want to pay cash, as much as I can use my card, I still try to pull out some money so I can do my little transaction. So that's my tip to you. If you've never been to Brazil, you know what I mean. You need a little bit of cash. Now, I have to remember, that's not my bag. Oh. It looks like it. You pick a specific color, you think you're the only one. Next thing you know, you know, because I try to stay away from the black bags. Everybody seems to have them. Kai, that's you right there. Yeah. Next thing I know, you have several bags that look the same. <laughs> I'm always nervous getting my stuff. Is my bag going to make it? Is my bag going to make it? But then I see it, and it's like a light goes on. Your bag has made it, and you're not gonna stay without your clothes for several days. Here we are, baby. So one more thing, are we out? Right? I don't know who was in there. <laughs> it's like a, a body. Somebody died in there. So bro. they're venting the bathroom? 
Because uh-huh. apparently Backpack Mo was in there. No, bro. <laughs> 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 so was it increments of five bucks? It what? Was it fifties? A hundred, hundred. It's just only stacks. Only hundreds, hundreds, yeah. Yeah, yeah, don't try to put me on blast. I walked in there, bro, and I was like, oh, wondering why. Why is the, the door? Yeah, I jam, right? I'm jamming, right? Like, Shit, I thought it was just locked. I opened the thing, like the joint just hit me. Like you know what I'm saying? It was like a wall, bro. No, it wasn't me. I'm not just. <laughs> That's what they're laughing oh about. God. Whatever it was, in our bathroom. Yeah. They're venting right now. <laughs> oh my goodness. We are standing outside and we can smell it from here. Yeah, right? Still. You saw how quick I was in there, right? Yeah, yeah. That couldn't have been me. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I walked in, I opened the door, and I'm like, yo, shit, <laughs> right? But I had to go so bad, right? So I'm like holding my breath, like, you know, just like, just being here for a couple seconds. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Yeah. That's crazy. Somebody uh, was waiting, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, he destroyed the yeah, thing. whoever did it. Yeah. So it was not Mo. It was the man before him. <laughs> God, that's right, right. They say you smelt it, dealt it, right? That's what it is, but yeah. that wasn't me, though. <laughs> Hell no. It was me and I would own it, but no. Nah. That's funny. That's funny. I'd probably still be in there. But it's I know people bad. who like refuse to use public bathrooms. Yeah. Have you met people like that? Oh, yeah. They will hold it like forever. No, it's not good for your body. But it's not good it's for, good for your body. Good. But like the guy that was in there, man, oh boy. All right. So. I wonder why he was looking down when he walked out, you know? He couldn't. Yeah. He knew what he did. Yeah, right. And he probably was like, damn, I feel bad for the next dude that yeah, walked yeah. in there. Wow. It's me, unfortunately, right? Yeah, it is what it is. All right. So now we're gonna step outside and catch an Uber. Usually there's a specific section where you can catch Uber. So taxis and Ubers don't fight anymore. <laughs> it's funny when Uber started, they used to they used to get so angry at Uber drivers because they didn't have designated like Uber areas. Yeah. So Uber will pick you up from wherever. Mm-hmm. And then there were fights like in Canada in like several countries. Yeah. Taxi drivers were getting freaking angry, man. But I think most of them have accepted that, you know, Uber yeah. is here to Sometimes stay. Sometimes you have to pay like an entrance fee just to get inside the airport itself. Yeah. So driving around, depending on how long they're going to be there. Yeah. You know, they're just going to be driving around and all that stuff. But That's I think right. the Uber thing is right there. I see a sign. Yeah, yeah, I saw a sign. So it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be too difficult to get. <laughs> There's a discount for bad smell discount. Yeah, right. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. Oh, yeah. That's no. funny. What's that? Yeah. Yeah. So the ladies behind us were trying to get us on that taxi, but we we are declining the taxi for now, and we're gonna stick with Uber. So once more is done, we'll be on the way out. This is the third exit that we had to try. The first two were closed. And now we have taxis here ready for us, but we're gonna try to still get with the Uber first, you know? We're apparently gonna have to get to the mall and that's where the Uber lounge is. I see the sign right here. So it's the Bossa Nova Mall. And the Uber lounge, I think it's over here. So, a little walk, all my cars keep canceling, but eventually somebody will come to the rescue of these boys and get us to a hotel where we can have AC, food, we've been traveling all morning long. So let's see, I hope it happens fast because the heat here it hits you differently than Sao Paulo. Man, it is really hot right now. The Uber Lounge, right there. It says L1. Are we at the right place? Yeah. Okay. That's How do you guys know? Right over here. Looking like it's where the Uber pickup zone, right here. Oh, okay, I see. All right. So let me see what's going on. We have a black Toyota, and it looks like it's here. Which car is it? A black Toyota. That's it right there. More, I think that's it. Right yeah. Oh, Hello. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna check him right now. Okay. 76, that's it. Okay. Yep. Hola. All right. Yeah, thank you, thank you. My 
Nice. Traveling is exhausting, man. Hey. What? Finally, let's ride. According to the thing, it is uh, 140, 150 right now, and the drop off is at 2, 210. 205. Check in is 205. So it's good. So a good 20 minutes. It doesn't seem so far. So we made it here at the Lynx. I will, Brigado, Brigado. I will give you guys more information about this location. It is not the best, but when you're trying to save a couple of coins, this is where you come. End that right, Mo. That's right, bro. <laughs> and, and think about this. Half the time, you're not even in the room. Right. I mean, you just need a place to crash, rest your head, get some cool AC, cool off. Yes. Off, and we're going to be out. And man, you're going to see us. We're outside, baby. You're That's right. Yeah. Out. So I will give you guys more information as we go along. But for now, we're gonna check in. And so far, look, this is nice. It's just the location, because you're here, you wanna be at the beach and stuff. So we're gonna have to ride through that. All right. Hello. Yeah. Can you check me in? Yeah. I'll do this. And uh, here we go. All right. So this is a discovery for us. I've never been in this part of the town, so how far is it from Copacabana? I'm not sure. But we're gonna find out. So it's 20 minutes maybe. We drop off this bag, we chill a little bit, and we get down to the action. Are we on the same floor, right? Yeah. So there's an issue here with some payment cards that I think is making this guy very frustrated. I'll let you explain. Uh, it just depends on your card. You know, sometimes some of the machines, they, you know, they don't accept that. it. Some of them don't. Every other place I work, you yeah, know, even yeah. like those small kiosk places I work. Yeah. But here, it's whatever has that particular load. Yeah. You know I mean? And it forces you to pull cash. Yeah. If you don't have cash on you, you're you screwed. Mean, you can't check in. Look at where we're at right now. Yeah. Like yep, that. yep. There's no ATM here. So you're just spending money to go get it and then come back and just pay it. But yeah. Luckily they take cash. So yeah. Most places don't take cash. Don't take cash. Yeah. In the US, Canada, and most European countries, to check into your hotel, you actually need to have your card. You know, they would not take cash for you to check in. So, you know, he's been very frustrated because for some reason, you know, they don't accept his card. You know, even though he has a visa logo, he's called the bank. He spent over an hour on the phone talking to the bank. They're like, what's going on? The American bank is saying there's no problem, but that specific machine does not work for him. So, but I was saying earlier at the airport about having cash because cash is king. That's precisely why. You know, you just never know with these foreign transactions. Sometimes just things just don't go through. So we are here at the links, but again, this is not the fanciest thing. I'm not gonna be showing you too much because there's nothing here, but I'm gonna show you the room. So basically this is 150 a night, 150 USD a night. And I focus a lot on these accommodations because this is about how to do Brazil during carnival. So if you wanna stay on the low, oh man, they put us right next to each other. All right, let's get in here. So we are inside. Okay, so. Wow, this is an interesting situation. There we go. Have you ever had a better view? Hopefully they're not doing construction while I'm here. Cause it's like, as slow as you can get. 150 a night versus staying in Copacabana right now today and paying $800 a night. My friend is here and she's actually staying with someone else, you know, sharing a room with her girlfriend so that she doesn't have to pay these outrageous fees. All right, so this is a basic room. For me, as long as the internet works, I'm okay. So this is not very different than the, the room we had in Sao Paulo. You know, you have your little sink, toilet, and then you have your standing shower. All right, well, let's get this done. So welcome to Rio. 